Well, you think high taxes don't drive away jobs, then you might want to look at what's happening to thousands of Wall Street jobs because they're leaving New York fast. Tom Belisis is a CEO just down on Wall Street. He says that lawmakers everywhere better learn from this lesson. And Tom, you've reported this before, seen it firsthand, that uh, a lot of mid-level type positions are leaving the city. Why? They are. I mean, um, and this is a lesson to Washington state and local governments. You know, people out there are not going to spend money they don't have to stay in a state where costs are way too much and the burden is on their company of either staying in business, going out of business. So what they're going to do, they're going to go to lower cost areas where they can afford to stay in business. And that's what you see is happening right now, Neil. So a lot of them go to lower tax environments like where you got florida right. um you have texas i mean you know over the last decade you see that you know states with no income taxes have nearly doubled their population they're bringing in revenue i mean the states that really tax people like the ultra liberal states like new york chicago and also california you know those states practice obamanomics not reaganomics <laughs> well yeah but well, there's certainly something going on with their declining numbers um but uh, I'm wondering um, whether the companies have an added benefit, too. I know they talk about the effect of the taxes, but if you move a lot of mid-level type positions to any of these states, you don't have to pay them as much either, right? The They're lower cost environments. So it's it's also in the company's interest to do it, right? A absolutely. I mean, companies right now are trying to fight for their survival because of what's happening out there. There's too many uncertainties, Neil, out there. You have health care costs. You have higher taxes. You know, the only things that are doing well right now under this administration are bankruptcy lawyers, you know, <laughs> pawn shops, you know, food stamp card makers. Regulators are making a lot of money. But unfortunately, you know, we have to promote growth in these states and lower taxes so they stay here. Unfortunately, these, tax these people are leaving the state and costing these states billions of dollars in potential revenues. Now, you were saying much the same to a lot of these Occupy Wall Streeters when they were storming the, the, the lower canyons of Manhattan. Um, you hired one. Yes. Uh, she went on to get a, a job on her own elsewhere sure. after you hired her. Uh, do you think any of this is dawning on them or no? Um, I, I don't. I mean, I mean th those people were very misguided, I think, under the direction, obviously, of what's out there right now in terms of the perception. Well, very few took you up on your job offer, right? She did, and, uh, you know, I'm glad she that was she... was it. She was it, right. right. You know, she was it. But, you know, I can tell you, I think come November, you know, as we change from an administration of being anti-business to a business-friendly administration, I think you're going to see a lot of economic activity and pent-up entrepreneurial demand that's been on the sidelines enter the market, which will be very good for everyone. Do you think that when, when people hear news, Tom, like the Goldman Sachs is cutting or that we'll be announcing big, big layoffs, whether it comes to fruition or not, people have this almost knee-jerk response, oh, who cares about Goldman? There are, all those guys are evil. Um, does it fall on deaf ears or does it resonate? You say in time it will because a city like this one, for example, sure. loses a big revenue source. Absolutely. Right? I mean, it loses, it loses a big revenue source. And, you know, ultimately, at the end of the day, we don't want people to lose their jobs. You know, we want people, we want people to keep their jobs and we want to create more jobs for the people that are out there that well, want to find jobs. What's if it's only the chiefs in the city like you and not the Indians? <laughs> I think there's room for everybody, you know, uh, you know, to have a job. And unfortunately, you know what, until they really get their act together, and lower taxes and help businesses with a reasonable tax rate. People are going to leave the state lot of New York, California, Chicago, and go to Florida or Texas where taxes, you know, are reasonable. And that's why people are going less, there. Absolutely. Well, we were chatting here. Microsoft has announced it's going to take a $6.2 billion charge for the declining value of its ad division. Um, I guess not a big shock. They've been having problems in this arena. What do you make of that when some of the marquee names still have marquee troubles? You know, I think they're adapting to a new environment. And unfortunately, if their business model or a segment of their business is not doing well, I mean, a CEO would ultimately make the decision, you know, we got to cut it out, right? Because we don't want it to be another burden on the company with right. everything else going so well. So I think it's just another segment they're going to You're not out. worried that technology is hitting a serious downdraft here, and this is just the tip off? I don't. I think, you know, overall in the summer, you usually get a little bit of a downtick. I mean, you saw what happened with the right. ISM numbers today. You know, they're showing a contraction, which is the first time since 2009. That's so right. people are getting a little nervous but I think people are gonna wait and sit on the sidelines to after or we get close to an uh, eventual Romney win in the White House all right well that's what you're hoping right? <laughs> uh, Tom Belisis by the way he uh, tipped his hand at what we're gonna be chatting about because this just in the proof of recession is now on